Hello there and welcome to Masterclass, the only show on television that shows you how to use your PC to do proper computer stuff rather than gathering dust in your spare bedroom. It's a televisual gift horse. You get in touch with us and explain just what you want to get from your PC, then we do all the hard graft, work everything out for you and invite you onto the studio to see how it's done. Now, joining me in the comfy chair tonight is Karen Goodman. It is it's Karen, isn't it? It is Karen, uh, that's yeah, right. Well, I'm Rychards, it's really nice to meet you. Thank you. Now, what is it you do, Karen? Um, I work for a PR company and we do information technology. Computers, then? Yes, computers. And, uh, how much do you know about computers? Not as much as I probably should. If any of Karen's clients are watching, she knows loads, right? Uh, thank so we'll you. just thank gloss you over that. that <laughs> now, Karen's got a problem with her house insurance, haven't you? Yep, that's okay. right. Okay, now according to your letter, I'll just have a quick look here. It says, Dear Richard, I'm insuring the contents of my house, have been asked by the insurance company for a complete breakdown of what I own. Well, probably loads, actually, given that you work in PR. How much it costs, and I'd like to use Excel to help me create this breakdown. Is it possible? Yes, you're absolutely right. It is possible. It, not only is it possible with Excel, but it's possible on the show because we've got more technology than you can fill your hat with. We're going to start using it now. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the screen and get started, All shall right, we? Brilliant. Now then. This is where it all happens. Behind this screen is more technology than you need to fly the space shuttle, and the suckers have let me have a go on it. So, let's crack on. This is an Excel spreadsheet, OK? And the first thing you've got to know about this screen is that, unlike your screen at home, where I touch it, things happen. If you try this on your PC at home, it's not going to do anything, OK? Right, You'll be so bitterly you. disappointed. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do it room by room. So we'll start off with the front room. We'll do my house, obviously, because I don't know what your house is like. Okay. And you haven't been to my house, so we're going to have some fun here. Front room. OK, now what we're going to do, if you lock on here, this is a column. This is called a column in Excel. We're going to go down to the next one below that, and we're going to put down the items that we've got in our front room. We're going to label it so that when we come back and uh, we're suffering from memory loss, we can actually remember what it's all about. Okay. Now, items. Let's stick to the things that we've got in my front room. We've got my TV. Right. We've got my comfy chair. And then we've got my armchair as well. If you ever come around my house, always ask to sit in the comfy chair and not the armchair, because obviously the comfy chair is, uh, well, comfy, really. The one to go for. Um, OK, now, in this next column here, we're going to start putting the value, or the number of the items that we've got in there. We'll do the value in a minute. Number. Uh, and then the next one along, we're going to put the value. And then in the third column along, if you come along here, we're going to put the total value. OK, so let's go back to the, to the column here. How many TVs have I got in my room? Well, as far as the uh, insurance man is concerned, I've got one TV, but we'll talk about that later. Okay. Uh, comfy chairs. I've got two comfy chairs in my front room, which is great. If there are three people coming around, one of them is going to have to sit in the armchair, which is very unfortunate. Now, one thing you'll notice here is that suddenly my comfy chair has become a comfy char. So okay. rather than a big fat chair to sit in, it's become a big fat woman who makes tea for you. <laughs> so what we need to do is make sure that we can read everything in this column. So what I'll do is I'll come up and I'll highlight this column. And what we can see is, on this edge here, there's a little little line with arrows on it. That's my stretchy tool. Okay. What I'm going to do is just stretch my column out like that, and suddenly the tea woman's gone and something you can sit on has reappeared. It's all very clever. We've got the number column here. Now we're going to start putting the value of the items in there. Now, how much do you think a TV's worth? Uh, 200, 225. You're going to get it nicked. How much is it worth? 450. 450, fantastic. <laughs> right, OK. Uh, comfy chair, about 100 quid, I think, for a comfy chair. Uh, and then an armchair, well, that's not quite as comfy, obviously, so we'll have to put 75. Now, this is where we start doing the really fancy stuff with Excel, OK? What we're going to do is we're going to take this column here, right, and we're going to multiply it by this column here to give us our result in this column here. Or, more specifically, what we're actually going to do is we're going to take this number here, we're going to multiply it by this number here, right. and we're going to end up with a total here, right? Okay. OK, now, it's very simple to do this. This is why Excel is such a beauty for things like this. What we need to do is take, uh, first of all, is to put ourselves in our end column here, and we're going to do a sum. Now, when you do a sum in Excel, you have to put an equal sign in. That tells the computer that you're going to do something mathematical. Okay. And quite frankly, what's the point of having a dog if you're going to bark yourself? So we're going to put a plus sign, an equal sign in here, not a plus, because that won't do anything. We're going to say this equals this one here. Now, that, that line around there, we call that scintillating. Right? It doesn't mean it's become more interesting. It's <laughs> going to tell you stories about its Kenyan safari hunt. Right. That one multiplied by, and we use the star sign, the asterisk, on a computer, because uh, whoever invented the computer wasn't smart enough to know that X means multiplied by. Multiply it by this one. Now, using your highly honed uh, mathematical skills, what do you think 1 times 450 is? 
450. Yes, 450. Fantastic. Excellent. Now, what we're also going to do, Excel is smart. It knows that we're lazy. As well as being stupid, we're, we're too idle to do anything ourselves. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this box and drag this down. Now, what that does is that puts all of our formulas right the way down to the bottom. All right, so now we've got 2 times 100 is 200, 3 times 75 is 225. Right. We do have a problem at this stage, though, because we're, we're, we're talking about abstract numbers. We're talking about cash here, hard money. We want the insurance man to know that we're bitterly disappointed we're making a profit on the burglary. So what we need to do, right, is highlight the cells. We're going to go up to Format, which is up the top here. Follow my finger. Format there. Format the cells, and we get this dialog box up. Okay. We're going to put Currency as the dialog box, and you can see that we get an example, £450 there. Mm -hmm. uh, we could choose anything else, we could choose a percentage, we could choose a text, but at this stage we're going to go currency, £450, and then we press OK, and you see that we've got our stuff that's appeared. Now what we can also do is tidy it up a bit, we can make this column a little bit narrower, change that to number, like that, NO, and then highlight this, narrow it down, so it's looking a bit smarter, and we can uh, centre those as well. Now, the great, thing, the great thing about Excel, and this is why we use things like this, is we can change the numbers without actually changing the formulas. So say I've got two comfy chairs here. If I change that to three comfy chairs, look what it is. Three times 100 is 200. If I change it to three, it's 300 again. Okay, and that's what it is. So let's change it back to two so that we can keep a constant limp. And that is the first stage of it. We're going to use these numbers. So we're then going to go on and do the rest of the rooms, and then we'll add them all up together. Okay? okay. So that's part one done. Let's move on. All right. I'm going to get a total. You are. Excel, do your funky stuff. There we go. £2,525. Someone please rob me. <laughs> OK, that's the cost that we've got for everything that's in our house. And that pretty much is, is the spreadsheet done. Okay. Now, what we might want to do at this stage as well is put a label on it so that when we send it to the insurance man and uh, Joe Blagg, Joe Blagg down, the, uh, down the local pub to arrange the robbery, what I'm going to do is call it Richard's Stuff, like that. Uh, now, the great thing about Excel as well is it's, it's got these word processing functions in it. So you can highlight the text and we can make it a bit bigger than it is at the moment. Right. Okay, and we can put a slightly different font on it as well. Mm. There we go. Richard stuff. That's it. So that's it. Now, all we need to do is print it off and we can go back and, uh, and send it off to the insurance man. Oh, it's very flash. It is very flash. Now, printing. Normally, we would use this printer button here. That's the shortcut. But right. because we're. Uh, we're in a bit of a, uh, a hurry and we want to show you some things that we can do with the printer. We're going to pull up this dialog box and that can show you all the things that you can do with your printer. At the moment, we're just going to print it as Excel suggests. So we'll press OK and it's going to come hurtling out the other end. Let's go over here, pull it off the printer and voila, there you go. That is the spreadsheet with all of our stuff on it. Everything that I own. OK? Fantastic. You can send it off to the printers. Now then, if okay. you want to take part in a masterclass, then please write in. You can email me at masterclass at sky.tvchannel.co.uk or write to me at .tv, PO Box 24121, London, SW18, 1WN. Or you can get in touch via the .tv website. So, that's it. The end of another show and another extremely happy viewer. Just time left for me to say thanks for Karen for being such a well-behaved guest. And remember, if you have a problem and no one else can solve it, then drop us a line. I'll be back soon with another masterclass. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.